Right, so we're going to have a look at standard form conversions. I'm going to start with this number here, so make sure you've got a pen and paper and you're making some notes. But we're going to have a look at converting numbers in between standard form and ordinary numbers. So there's a standard format, and that's what standard form stands for, a standard format that we can write large and small numbers in, or very large numbers and very small. Now the ones we're not going to have a look at here today are not going to be super large or super small, but we're going to be able to, be able to write those in standard form. So. The rules for standard form that we have, we're going to have a number, so let's just make a random one up, something like 2.5 times 10 to the power of, that's not a 10, 10 to the power of 3. So this is what something in standard form is going to look like. Now the rules are, the number at the start here has to be between 1 and 10. So between 1 and 10. And it's always times 10 to the power of something. Now 10 cubed here in, my, in this little example is, is 1,000, 10 times 10 times 10. So this will actually create a little number here, but it's always times 10 to the power of something. So we're going to have a look at how to write this number up top, this 3,400 in standard form, making sure that we follow these rules. So 3,400, if I was to hop a decimal in from the top, so I'd have to go 1, two, three, and that would make 3.4. So 3.4 is between one and 10. I couldn't have 34, I couldn't have hopped it over again and had 0.34, because that wouldn't have been between one and 10. So 3.4 is between one and 10. So it's 3.4 times 10 to the power of, and all we have to do is count how many little jumps we did there, and we did three jumps, so that would be 10 to the power of three. And that's our final answer, writing it in standard form. Thinking about what this means, that means 3.4 times 10, times 10 times 10, which is times 1,000, and 3.4 times 1,000 is 3,400. So all we're doing is writing it in a standard format. It's a little bit shorter, particularly if we have a lot of zeros after there. Let's have a look at another one. Okay, so a slightly different number. We've got a small number here. We've got 0.00345. So it's only going to be one ever so small change in this one, and we'll have a look at what that is. So to make this a number between 1 and 10, we've got to hop the other way this time. We've got to hop that decimal 1 to three places to make it 3.45. It's still going to be times 10, but we can't have a number here that's positive because times in that by 10 would make it larger. Times in it by 10 squared again would make it larger. So to indicate the fact that this is a little number, a small number, we're going to have, still have a look at how many jumps we've done there, but we're just going to put our power as a negative, so negative three for those three hops. And that just indicates there that it's a small number, it's less than one, and we're going to have to hop it the other way to actually find out what that is. So that is 3.45 times 10 to the negative three when it's a small number. Okay, so that is important there when it is a small number, a naught point number, it is going to have a negative power. But let's have a look at one more before we have a go. Okay, so a bigger number here, 504,000 in standard form. So there isn't a decimal in this number at the moment, but the decimal would be here at the end if we had one. So if we think about where that decimal would be if we were to write it, to write this in standard form, we'd have to do quite a few hops here. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that's five hops for this number. And that would make the number 5.04. Okay, not forgetting that that four exists, we can't just uh, not include that, it's still there. So 5.04, still times 10, and that was five hops. It's a big number, so five. Okay, not a negative power for this one because it's not a naught point number, it's a large number. So 5.04 times 10 to the power of five. So just remember, if it's a large number, you're going to have a positive power with however many hops you've done to make it between 1 and 10. And if it's a naught point number, you're going to have a negative power again for however many hops you've done to make that number between 1 and 10. Here's some for you to have a go at. Okay, so pause the video there, have a go at these four, and we'll go over the answers in a sec. Right, so having a look at these then. 8,600 to start with, so that's going to be 1, 2, 3 hops which makes it 8.6 times 10 to those three hops, so 10 cubed, final answer. The one below, we've got a naught point number, so it's gonna be a negative power. One, two, three, four. So that'll be 5.4 times 10 to the power of one, two, three, four hops, so minus four, because it's a naught point number. And there's our final answer. 309,000, so one, two, three, for five hops, so that'll be 3.09 times 10 to the power of those five hops, so five. Final answer, and then the last one, again, it's a naught point number, so negative power, and it's gonna be one, two, three, so negative three, 
and that is 3.08 times 10 to the power of negative 3. Final answer. OK, let's have a look at some different questions. OK, write 3.4 times 10 to the 4 as an ordinary number. So going back the other way this time, an ordinary number is just an ordinary number like we were writing down before, but we've been given this in standard form. So I'm going to write this down. What we've got, we've got is 3.4. Now, it's asking us to do times 10 to the power of 4. So we know it's going to be a big number and not a little number because it's a positive power. And that 4 is going to represent 4 jumps or 4 hops. So let's hop this out 4 places, making it a bigger number. So to the right, 1, 2, three, four. So underneath all of these little loops, I just need to tidy this up and put those zeros back in because my decimal would end up just there. So that's my working out. Let's write this out nice and neat. So we've got three, four, zero, zero, zero. So 34,000. And that's what this is as an ordinary number. Let's have a look at another one. Okay, 8.03 times 10 to the minus 5. So it's a negative 5 there in the power, so it's going to be a 0 point number. So I'm going to have to hop it the other way this time. So let's write out what we've got so far. We've got 8.03. So the decimal is already in, drawn in for us. It's just in there. So we're going to hop it from there to the left to make sure it's that 0 point number because it's a negative 5 as the power. And we're going to do 5 hops. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then let's fill in these zeros and put that decimal in there where it's going to go now. Now we've got this number here, obviously we just need to tidy this up because we would normally write this with a zero at the front, so tidy that up with a zero, and let's rewrite actually what we've got here. So we've got 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and then 8, 0, 3. And that is my final answer there for writing that as an ordinary number. So just remember, if it's a positive power, we're going to hop it to the right to make sure it's a big number. And if it's a negative power, we're going to hop it to the left to make sure it's a 0 point number, a little number there. OK, so here's some for you to have a go at. OK, so pause the video there, have a go at these four, and we'll go over the answers in a sec. OK, so 8.6 times 10 to the 5. So 8, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And there it is, 860,000. 4.3 times 10 to the minus 3. So 4.3, 1, 2, 3, 0, 0. Adding your decimal, tidy it up, 0 0.0043. 2.65 times 10 to the 4. So 265, 1, 2, 3, 4. So 26,500. And the last one, 5.07 times 10 to the minus 4. So left one, two, three, four, decimal in there, noughts under the loops, and tidy it up with a zero. 0 0.0000507. Okay, that's the end of standard form conversions. Again, if you like the video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you for the next one.